This is by far the most impressive platform for learning development that I've ever seen. I had Scrimba reach out and ask me if I wanted to do a video on their platform. I am genuinely blown away. I'm just going to demonstrate quickly what this is. What you have here is a simple, what looks to be like a code editor. But what's wild with this is if I go ahead and I click play, I'll just show you a quick example here, and then I'll go into the platform a little bit. Let's try again. And there we are. We have got our first results back from the OpenAI API. Now, let me just copy everything we got. All right, so let's pause that. The remarkable thing that they built here is it's really a cross between a video player as well as an interactive code editor. And at any point in any of the videos that they have, you can just pause the video and begin to use it as if you were in your IDE, which is really just remarkable in terms of learning new concepts. Just to show you quickly, let's say you are a helpful general knowledge expert who are the founders of OpenAI. We just swapped out the model and we swapped out the string here. And if I click run, there we go. OpenAI was founded on December 15th by Elon Musk. Sam Altman. This is just wild. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview on the platform. I'm going to put the link within the description of the video, as well as a pinned comment. I believe at time of recording, it's around 80% of the content on this platform is completely for free. You're definitely going to be able to learn something from this. There's really something for everyone here. But as soon as you go over to Scrimba, you'll see a number of different featured courses here. And what you can also do is you can check out the course view and then you can go through and you have the ability to search for free courses. You can select whether you want to check out AI courses. So say if you want to build your first AI web app, you can do that with ChatGPT, Dolly, and GPT-4. If you want to learn how to code with AI, there's a segment on that. There's a ton of rich web development content within here, whether you want to learn JavaScript or more advanced topics. There's also a ton of content around CSS, React, even some courses on UI design, and even a Python course here. Just for example's sake, I'm going to be showing you the AI engineer path. Within this course, there's a ton of different sections here from the intro through to deployment. It will show you how to set things up and deploy to Cloudflare workers, how to deploy a site to Cloudflare pages. And within all of these, just like I showed you in the previous example, is if you go within, say, one let's of these videos. By, let's start by creating an assistant. Now, before we begin, make sure that you have your OpenAI API key and that you added it as an environment variable on Scrimbot with the name OpenAI API, just like that. This will allow you to run the code in the Scrim and make requests to the OpenAI API. So at any point, if you want to pause, if you want to try out a different example, you have that tactile feel where you can just jump in and start editing the code. But where this becomes great is there's not just a quiz at the end of each section. It's really encouraging you to build things out right within the interface here. So in just a moment, I'm going to dive into the AI engineer path. But first, I want to show you a few other pieces of the platform. So within projects, if you're the type of person that just loves to build things, there's a ton of different examples in here. If you want to dive right into building out different projects to get that muscle memory, you can go within templates. Now within templates, there are these ready-made pieces of code. So as you start to learn these different concepts of whatever it might be, so say Mistral Chat, for instance, you can go within here and you have these reusable pieces where you can start to build out your application. All just one click away and it's pretty much instantaneous. You can go to a Python environment just like that and you can execute code. Just to show you, I can click run. I can go over to this example with React State. It will go ahead and load this up. It is really quick in terms of a platform. There is really no other platform that I've seen quite like this. For instance, there are different career paths as well. Say if you want to go down the front end developer's career path, it will go through the basics of web development all the way through tips on getting hired. This will give you everything from the web development basics, learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all the way through to tips on getting hired. So using LinkedIn, front-end job interviews, interview challenges, React interview questions, and what have you. The other thing that's unique with the platform is there's going to be different periods where you're going to have to practice the platform is you'll get to a particular section where you actually have to write out codes. For instance, if I click objects and functions here and I click play. Okay, in this challenge, you are going to practice objects and functions. So first, you are going to create a person object that contains three keys. For instance, at any point, you can just start coding this out. Let's just say we're going to create our person object, and it's going to be something like this. We're going to have name. We'll say developers digest age. I have no idea what people think my age is. That could be interesting country. So the great thing with this is you can just start coding it out. You can go person 
And again, this is going to be from the context of you learning, right? It might take you a little bit of time. It might take you multiple tries as you're starting to understand different topics and what have you, but you can just start playing around with it, right? Then at any point, if you just start going on to say the next example here. So here, if we just pass in the object or what have you, and then it's going to return whatever it might be. At any point, you can jump between your scribbles. So here we see one, there we see the other. And then within the video, you'll see that there are these challenges. If I just click the challenge, it will say exercise time. Within exercise time, you can just put in all the information. Within the challenge, you can go and execute it. So we can see our console log here. Per is 35 years old. At any point, you can run the code to see what it's doing there. Here we go. There is our answer. We can submit our solution there. Let's take a look at the AI engineer path. Within each of these sections, they're pretty in depth. The first section here, there's a hundred minutes worth of content. They have a whole section on how to host and deploy to Cloudflare workers, Cloudflare pages, how to set up their AI gateway and what have you. There is just a ton within here, even open source models. Say if you want to learn about Hugging Face JS, for instance, if I just click play here. One similar thing here, we can just click around here. You can see how to use different models. So it will walk you through exactly how to use all of these open source models and interact with Hugging Face directly. And then you can just go in here and say, if you want to use a different model, you can swap that out, run your code, and then continue on with this segment. So it's really built in a way where it's not really intended for you just to sit here and watch a video. It's intended for you to interact with, to start to build things, research things, go on Hugging Face, Look for new models, see a model you find interesting, plug it in here, try it out, right? You can start to see why a platform like this really is powerful. From there, they have a section on embeddings and vector databases. So this is essentially by the end of it, you'll have an understanding how to create a reg pipeline. You'll understand all of the different facets that are involved in that from whether it's splitting text, chunking text, embedding text, understanding vector dimensions and the relatedness between two different pieces of text and all of that. It's going to walk through basically everything. There's an in-depth section on agents, multimodality, if you want to learn about vision endpoints and LLMs that have that capability where you can pass in an image and what have you, there's all of that. There's also the OpenAI Assistance API. And then finally, there's a ton of content on Langchain everything from uploading embeddings and what have you to Superbase, going through all of the examples, concepts that they touch on with a lot of common use cases for Langchain. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put a link within the description as well as pinned in the comments. I encourage you to check out and try their free platform. And then if you're interested in taking it a step further and signing up for their pro tier, they are going to give you a promotion, which I think is 20% off on if you sign up for their pro tier. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.